Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on a frigid Friday in Vermont, February 3rd, 2023. We have a polar vortex dropping on our heads. The uh, wind chill will go down to 45 below zero tonight. Happy days. I think we'll make a fire outside and roast marshmallows. But here is our 1950 22 foot shepherd runabout looking rather different than she did the last time you saw her. At this point, Joe has finished rebuilding the entire aft deck, the tails of the covering boards. He's returned Sycaflex seams to the deck. He's cleaned out the surround yellow seam channel. And we'll get to the foredeck in a minute. Uh, but at this point, his next step, he and Rick will be flat sanding using our 16 inch, or 18 inch, I'm sorry, uh, Hutchins pneumatic longboard. You wanted to use a longboard, otherwise you get a moonscape. Moonscapes aren't fun. Moonscapes aren't pretty. Moonscapes rob your boat of value. Longboards, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. In the end, all your fillings will be chattering, but you will have a wonderful, wonderful result. So Joe was able on both sides to find some uh, Honduran mahogany that matches as best we can the grain patterns that were already on both covering boards. The dash panel and surround above it need just a titch more sanding. And we've been in the process of trying to repair all the gouges and dents and hurts uh, on her hull sides, cleaning out rot with Dutchman's on her decks. And then on the foredeck, the foredeck had been sanded so many times that these seam channels we're all but gone. And, well, I'll just hand it over to Joe and he can talk to you about his rather unique method for cutting seam channels. Uh, I, I think you'll be surprised. So on this boat, um, these are very, very small seam lines, unlike most of the other ones I have. Um, so believe it or not, I use a straight edge on most of them, but I use our tiny little hand circular saw here and it cuts uh, 364 which is very small and then I'll be able to go through each one and uh, I use a modified paint stirrer stick with uh, 80 grit on it and I feed it into the channel and sand every seam by hand that way any kind of wiggle or wobble that's in it will be taken out completely with um, the straight edge of the paint stirrer stick. And now while we're talking about seams, I'd like to share an epiphany at Snake Mountain Boat Works. We have tried Sycaflex uh, 295 UV. If you look at some of our older videos, you'll discover that, that was our standard. But then we ran into several batches of that product that would not take paint, would not take varnish. So we morphed into using Sycaflex 291 LOT, long open time, and that worked well. And we were using the uh, mahogany version, but now, thanks to Jamestown Distributors Total Boat Line, we've discovered a simply incredible product. Joe, why don't you? Yeah, this stuff on boats that we have white seams, 
this uh, total boat seal is um, it's UV protected. It can take stain. It can take varnish. Um, it can even be painted. But this product right here, you can go through an entire seam on a whole boat. You don't need any tape. You don't need any of that. You lay, lay it, pan it in there and uh, you wipe it down with uh, mineral spirits afterwards and within 35 to 45 seconds it has a skin over the top of it so if you're working on a seam you know further forward you're not getting covered in this stuff it has such a quick cure time and it i have tested it with varnish um with the uh pettit uh, Captain's ultra clear and it still remains as snow white as possible without any discoloration this stuff really is amazing, amazing stuff. And it doesn't hurt that it's cheaper than the Sikaflex. We are always fighting budgets. So we have a few final Dutchmen to sand down fair. Uh, both hull sides and the transom need a, a last pass. And if all goes according to plan, and you know how that happens, uh, we will be bleaching her using Daly's wood beet bleach uh, in a mixture of three parts B to two parts A this starting this afternoon and we'll keep her wet and wet and wet. Do not, do not follow the dumb directions on their label. They, they advise you to make one application and then go have a beer. No. You want to keep her wet. We'll apply the bleach to the entire boat. And as soon as we make a lap, we make another lap. Another very critical bit of guidance. Most people, and it would be natural. I get my bleach, I set it up here on the, on the deck, get my brush and chip brush and start Swabbing it on, and you know what happens. Blah, 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 blah. If you want a boat with stalactites and stalagmites that are pure white that you can't get rid of, I'm sorry, you cannot remove them. No. You want, when bleaching, to start down here. It may be counterintuitive, but that's what you want, uh, and that's what we will be doing. And the nice thing about keeping her wet for a good long period is that uh, it also causes the wood to swell and does uh, a sort of second round of Don Dannenberg pre-soaking. Early next week, after she's bleached over the weekend, and we will shoot another video of our albino shepherd runabout, uh, we will be uh, staining and then letting that cure and then starting our finishing process. And Mike Mayer at Lake Oswego Boat Company in Oregon recommended, and if you go onto our website, you'll find his very detailed uh, article where he makes a case for not applying clear penetrating epoxy sealer above the water line for the simple reason that once you get that wood sealed, God forbid that you would ever post staining sand through someplace and oops, and you get a little blind, you get a little blush. Well, if the wood is sealed with CPES, even Mike's wonder stain, his gel stain, will not penetrate them. His recommendation, and we've started using it with great results, that first coat, Joe, it's about 50-50? It's about 50-50. Yeah, we, we will take the uh, thinner that is appropriate to the varnish we're using First coat is diluted 50-50, and we lay it on and let that cure, and then we'll begin with our Pettit high build, sanding periodically 
every four or five coats, sort of in that area, and building building coats. We'll do 10 or 15 of those, and then it's seam time, and then it's Pettit Captain's Ultra Clear Varnish to finish off the process. So that's where we are on a very cold, brutally cold, Friday, February 3, 2023. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.